July 2020 has got a big docket of great looking games coming up. Hi folks, it's Falcon and today on Game Ranks, the top 10 new games of July 2020. Starting off at number 10, it's Marvel's Iron Man VR, coming to the PlayStation VR on July 3rd. Now, I want to go ahead and acknowledge that there's a keen possibility this could backfire, but I've looked at the gameplay and I'm really interested in how this game turns out. It seems as though they really tried to make an Iron Man simulator, which is not something I think sounds anything but amazing if possible. But the real questions we have are, is it? Is it possible? The way the game handles flying just looks impossibly fun. You pretty much control the flying with your hands. It is extremely cool looking. And from what I've seen, people seem to like it. Now, of course, we really can't say anything until the game itself is out, but that's very soon. And I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, I am at least gonna try it. If it pans out, this could easily be the killer VR app, so to speak. Be a superhero. At number 9 is Trackmania, which is a remake of the freeware game made years ago called Trackmania Nations. I don't know if you remember this game, but it was this basically a Formula One RC car track oriented racing game. Like it was a long time ago and it, it went on for a number of years, but they were no longer able to make money on it through ads. So it got shut down and it's been quite a while since anyone's been able to play it. That whole thing is being rebooted. This is a free to play, but I want to go ahead and just note that the original was a free to play and it was one of the most fun games. Seriously, just it's been a very long time since I've played this game. And frankly, it just seems like a lot of fun to drop in. They intend to monetize it seemingly through season passes of various levels, although they're also selling access by the year, so I don't know exactly how that's going to pan out. However, this is an insane, gravity-defying arcade racer that, like, as far as that description goes, it's one of the ultimate games, if it turns out to be a lot like the original anyways. Trackmania is coming to PC on July 1st. At number 8 is Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise, the sequel to the 2010 Deadly Premonition. It has been a long time since people trekked through Greenvale, Washington, investigating the murder of an 18-year-old woman. Deadly Premonition was a really polarizing game. If you recall, like, some people loved it, some people absolutely hated it. It actually held the Guinness World Record for the most critically polarizing survival horror game. And I'm not making that up. Deadly Premonition had kind of weird dialogue, but at the same time, it was also kind of hard not to like it. If you're the type of person that likes kind of weird games, it's very quirky. I've seen the game described as eccentric so many times through the years. But the plot is not particularly non-traditional. It's more or less a mystery, a whodunit. Although you'll find that a lot of the time, things are not as they seem. I know that sounds maybe stereotypical, but honestly, this is a game that I welcome a great deal. I'm excited to play Deadly Premonition 2, and if it can manage to retain the charm of the original while being a more modern game, I think they've kind of got an easy win. Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Skies is coming to Switch July 10th. At number 7 is F1 2020, of course the official game of the 2020 Formula 1 and Formula 2 Championships, and is kind of functioning as a replacement for the championship because of what's going on in the world right now. Obviously, it's a pretty sweet looking game. They do what they can to accurately simulate Formula One. Not a lot of people outside of Formula One racers have driven an F1 car, so I can't really attest to how accurate it is. But these are gorgeous games that are really incredibly fun and definitely provide what I would call a fairly unique experience. Again, this year it has a fairly unique position in that it's kind of actually replacing the real season. So I'm kind of excited just to see how that plays out personally. It of course looks like a great update to the game and it's coming to Windows, PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Stadia on July 7th. Number six is Ari and the Secret of Seasons. No, not Ori, like the Blind Forest. It is a similar name. Don't get it confused. This is something different. This is an adventure game coming from an indie developer that is actually quite promising. It's a very beautifully animated game in which you have the ability to manipulate season. The title kind of gives that element away, but that's how it figures into puzzles. You're going to be solving a lot of puzzles in this game oriented towards the weather. 
And honestly, I'm really excited to play this because this is one of those games where I've seen a lot of great stuff about it. It looks like a game with some good combat and some pretty cool looking puzzles that has the potential to be really incredible. This is a game that debuted at Gamescom 2017 and got Best Unity Game, which is, I mean, again, it's a beautiful looking game and I'm really excited to play it. Ari and the Secret of Seasons coming to PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch on July 28th. At number five is Skater XL, which has had the benefit of a pretty productive early access season, so to speak. This is a game that has really been well liked by people who really just know that good skateboard games are tough to come by. And in particular for people who like skate, this is a game that people are just absolutely stoked on. I mean, let's be serious. This is a genre that is basically ignored. Tony Hawk was the killer app. Skate was a great game. And then basically everything else, eh. It's certainly not as memorable as either of those two games, but this one's oriented towards precision and simulation, more like Skate than Tony Hawk, obviously. Of course, it's not an official continuation of Skate, but Skater XL looks like a really worthy successor in a spiritual sense. You can actually get it on early access now, but the official release comes July 7th on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. And number four is Rocket Arena. It's an aptly named title. It's a new hero-based shooter, three versus three. However, it's rockets only. Now, I wouldn't normally say like, hey, let's look at every single little spin on the hero shooter thing. It's kind of a played out genre at this point, but woof, I like this. Let's be serious. Like, do I need to say a lot more? It's a game where everybody's got a rocket launcher and the idea is to shoot rockets at each other. I don't know why we haven't had this yet. It's one of those of course games. Of course. I'm there. I'm going to play it. I haven't played it yet. But Rocket Arena, PC, PS4, Xbox One, July 14th. I'm going to be there. And at number three is Destroy All Humans, a game that I could talk for hours about. I love Destroy All Humans, and I'm so excited that there is a remake with better graphics that doesn't touch the core gameplay. In fact, it's a basic, complete, ground-up remake of the original. That's fantastic. To play the original game with better graphics, that's like what a lot of people want when somebody says the word remake. If you remember the anger about some of the changes in the Final Fantasy VII remake, that may provide a little bit of evidence for my case here. Now, that's not to say I didn't enjoy the Final Fantasy VII remake. However, this is exactly what I would want out of this game because the gameplay in Destroy All Humans is why I like it so much. You're gonna be taking brain stems from people and destroying stuff. That's an apt description of the game. It's absurdist, the humor is great, all the voice acting has been retained from the original. I'm there, I'm so there. Destroy All Humans is coming to PC, PS4, and Xbox One on July 28th. And number two is Paper Mario The Origami King, which is of course a new entry into that franchise. As you know, Paper Mario is fun. I've always loved Paper Mario. It's a weird spin on the Mario formula. It's in a lot of ways an RPG and in some other ways not. Like it retains some of the original Mario gameplay as well as a turn-based battle system. And I'm not gonna go ahead and tell you to expect like an amazing relatable story. They are still oriented around the Mushroom Kingdom and all of that. But I'll tell you this, I am more than eager to stroll down the Paper Mario memory lane, so to speak. I love Paper Mario. I have played Paper Mario since the Nintendo 64. Switch couldn't be a better place for one of these games either. The graphics are beautiful, certainly way ahead of any other game while retaining the look and feel. Paper Mario is hitting the Nintendo Switch on July 17th. And finally, probably the game I've been looking forward to the most on this entire list is Ghost of Tsushima. This is just an awesome looking PS4 exclusive that they announced a while back and I've just been craving more of because it's such a cool looking beautiful trailer with this intense like realistic but surreal look to it. And the game is apparently oriented around learning a style of martial arts more or less. It's an action adventure stealth game with a lot of sword play in it if indeed you decide to go the combat route. But hey, the infamous developers could have done something a lot less cool than this. This is just an astoundingly awesome looking game. I cannot wait to play it. It is going to be one of those ones where if it's not as good as it looks, though, I'm going to be really disappointed. <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima is hitting PlayStation 4 on July 17th. We've also got a quick bonus to mention before we leave. 
Death Stranding is hitting the PC. If you played it on PS4, you know that Death Stranding is a very specific game for very specific people. I am one of those people. I love it. I fully acknowledge you may not be one of those people, but I do know a fair number of people were waiting for it on PC and we wanted to make sure people knew it was coming July 14th. I might play it again. I don't know. We'll see. So what games are you playing this month? Leave us a comment. Let us know. If you like this video, click like. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week. And the best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. So click subscribe. Don't forget to enable all notifications. And as always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter, Falcon Hero. And we'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks.